In this webcast, I want to give you an overview of the types of reactions that we can expect to encounter when reactants involve carbonyl groups. The first kind of reaction is an addition reaction, and you should recognize this by analogy to other kinds of additions, but here the addition involves addition across a carbon-oxygen double bond, the elements of nucleophile and proton adding across that carbon-oxygen double bond breaks the carbon-oxygen multiple bond, leaving behind just the single bond, and the new elements, the elements of nucleophile and H, have added across that double bond. In this first kind of reactivity, the carbonyl behaves as an electrophile, and you can see that the nucleophile is attracted to that electrophilic carbonyl carbon. The second kind of reactivity is a substitution reaction. It's going to require that there be a heteroatom substituent attached to the carbonyl carbon, and the nucleophile will come in and replace that substituent so that the nucleophile is now bound to the carbonyl carbon. Again, the carbonyl is going to behave as the electrophile, and the leaving group will be the X group. We're going to learn that the mechanism by which substitution takes place at the sp2 carbonyl carbon is much different than the SN1 and SN2 type mechanisms that we learned for substitution at sp3 carbons. The third kind of reactivity that we're going to encounter is another type of substitution, but it's a substitution in which the hydrogen at the alpha carbon is substituted by an electrophile. It's going to involve a deprotonation of that alpha carbon, and once that deprotonation takes place, that alpha carbon will become nucleophilic, and so it will react with an electrophile to make a new carbon alpha to electrophile bond. So there you have an overview of the kinds of reactivity that we'll see over the next several webcasts dealing with the carbonyl functional group. Before we begin to look at the mechanisms of these three different reactions, let's in the next webcast understand how the structure of the carbonyl functional group influences its reactivity.